Welcome back, my friends, to another video. Today I am doing it with no light on, except for natural light. And let's see what happens. Because I, this is the first video, well, I do with natural light. Topic? Light language. Kosono kakano kiki kikoku kesala asono dini dokono kakana kike no kano asala dokuma mata mata matiaku evi varuka asala soko ko maka mati matia don't know daku ko kame vali valosu wali o wati u nami ku sala salitio Mano, no, mani, mano. Noko, gasa, kasa, doko. Loko, kana. Ivi, vako. Asana, isinu. Dana, noko, no, kasana, dekano. There is nothing else for me to channel, except now I go into the environment. There is, it's night time, there is a full moon, a blue full moon. Um, the forest, a forest, um, sitting under the stars meditating or no yes a person standing in front a woman obscured to me um hair color could be black could be brown long or short um the rest is obscured and this woman was saying some of the words I was reciting. Um, this is 5D language, so I am still learning what I am actually saying. For this one, I really have no idea what any of it means. Uh, could be I don't know, might mean don't. It could say something about following or don't follow or look. Um, I don't really know. I, this is so very new to me that I know it is light language and the person channeling has to figure out on their own or through help with another light worker who they are working with or the spirit guides or whatever and figure out what this channel and vision could mean. For me, I don't know anything. I am still very new on this being a light worker, extending and yeah, uh, this is the first video where I do natural light. If you want to see more with a natural light or more of these types of videos, do let me know and I can post more of what you like. And to help me grow 
new content, more content of what you guys like. We are com a community. We build each other. We work with each other. Teamwork. <laughs> and that concludes this video. Until we meet again, my friends. Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Currently, I am in a trance, a light to medium. I was going to read chapter 1 from the Book of the Law, written by Aleister Crowley, but instead, I am in a trance, and apparently my body wants to speak light language. Subject today, Inner Workings Light Language. I do not know why I said Inner Workings, because Light language is the collective consciousness. You interpreted yourself. What it means to you will differ from another person. Light is vibration. Light is energy. Frequency says all. On 5D, frequency means everything. From what I concur. This is a bit out of the box for what I normally do. And this is completely off script. Um, Normally, I do not look into the camera when I read my uh, blog post as to why I seem to be a little bit camera in the last uh, two videos. Okay, it is well enough. Uh, okay, light language in a trance. Kind of a bit random today, but I go with the flow. I am water. I am earth. And the wind carries me. Let us begin. Oku akala asunu gina gikikuku kasala kokunu dekala okusunu vela asala. Vili Valoku Makulu Asala Duku Dikala Okuno Kesala Kokunu Dukulu Kakana Gakikikukuma Dasano Kukukulu Akala Kesala Dukuma Vala Asalo Vili Sasalo Sana Sana Sokolo Okulu gakana kasana kukulu gana akala damatavala damitriya akusunu kana isana sonu kakala akuvalo dunum dakana Isi so no da no bo ve vu va la ko no de da kala asana do no de sana ko ko no ke ka kala do ko so no ve na va la si so no 
Dinli de kulum akalla asalım Dünün de sisulu kalu Beyli bülü da salakala kokulu Meki kuma makala kala kabalu asala Do kokana kaka kaka kaku kuluku Dunu dalla kasala akobalu Vinli vulu dasala saloku Manu kana kaka 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 Akula asala disala mahala Mana 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 na 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 na. You don't know, <laughs> and I get losing it. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Uh, but yeah, um, instead of reading the chapter one book of the law, I went with this. So, um. Light language, I uh, have no idea what I am conveying, but it is positive, it is powerful, it is enlightening, it is inspirational, it is love. Light means positive, 5D, think 5D and beyond. We are not on 3D. So that is why I said I do not know what I am saying, yet I am totally new to this Knowing it is a light language rather than to so say, oh, this is my soul language. It is that, but now I can say it is of the light. It is of love. It is of the soul. More and more deep rather than a generic term. Um, do I know what I am saying? Uh, it my guides say it will one day come to me, as of right now, dur during. And no, I just go with what I say. And right now, it is just raising me to another higher dimension, higher frequency. I know it's in love. I know it's powerful. I know it is a higher energy, higher vibration, higher frequency than... That of the 3D. Do I care what I say? And not knowing? I don't actually mind not knowing. I just feel. And what I feel during it is freaking magical. Freaking powerful. Freaking loving, man. Loving. Loving and light. Light, bliss, happiness, Everything. It is nothing negative. It is nothing 3D. It is nothing lower vibration than that of 5D. And by that, I literally mean it is not on the realm of physical. And by that, I literally mean it is has, it has nothing to do with the lower frequency people. And by that, I mean closed-mindedness, lower vibration than love. Hate is the opposite of love, and diversion, anger, hatred, fear. All those are negative. All those are lower than 5D. 4D is like a in-between state. In my opinion, I don't really know anything about uh, the, the different dimensions. I have done research in the past, but that was um, pre... I'm going to say around 2012, maybe. Uh, it was a long time ago uh, when I did try to look into that. And right now... Basically, everything I learned before I really uh, 
before I got onto this path, like really high. Everything I learned from a lower perspective is gone. Okay, is gone. Lower three D mentality gone. Ego gone. Okay, remember, words are powerful. Be mindful of what you say. We control our own reality with our thought, with our word. As to why I am more mindful with what I say now. That is why I said ego is gone. Closed-mindedness gone out the window. As to why I said all my features from prior spiritual awakening is out the window because I did not know what I know now. Remember, I did not know what I know now. I know now that more. I know more about frequency, about vibration, and what that actually means. Before, I knew nothing. Of that, so what did 4D mean to me when I first started out on this spiritual path? It just meant the spirit world. That's it. Nothing of what I know now. Yes, I can expand and grow on that idea, but it doesn't really do much if you don't know about. Frequency about vibration, about words are powerful. About our minds control our own reality, including what we see on the astral in our trances. We shape our own reality, so that would in- infer or hint at what if. We control our reality in our trances. Why we see certain things, symbols are but doors to the unknown. Sizzles, symbols—they are keys to doors unknown to us at a certain time. Until we understand this sizzle or this. Symbol. What the heck was I just saying? Oh my god! I just really um. Yeah. Uh. I have no idea what I was just saying. Um.、Uh, wow. Okay. I must have went from three D to five D, and I just the translation just got lost, or. From 3D to 5D, or back and forth. That is why I just lost what I was saying, and because, yeah,、um, this is actually common when now when you go through these gateways,、um, it is common to lose memories or whatever you were just saying. It happens, and oh my God, has this happened to me again? I'm pretty sure I have a, another video where I just lost what I was saying, and then I somehow remembered. But this time, I okay, it is starting to come back. Maybe something about sizzles, keys. Nope, I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, wait. Um. Okay, sizzles and symbols. You will have to find out what they mean to those said doors. I think that is what I was trying to say until I was just gone. <laughs> until it was just poof.
I don't know what I was saying. It happens. Uh, it, it happens to all, all, everyone. Not just light workers. It, it happens to everyone. It, uh, to me, in my personal opinion on that subject, it, okay, I am there in 15 minutes, so I actually have to cut that. Hold that thought, come back. Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today's topic, light language. Right now, I feel very, very good. I don't know, it might be because I read part one of two from the book of the law chapter one got part one done i don't know i just feel really really good right now um okay light language here we go Kono kala asa dina kukuma vala asano sana sono makala dono de kala asano dikama metia makulo asana kono kikana kono asana dukuma makavala Ivi Vuluma Asana Okukuma Dunu Dialo Asana Okulu Kikana Kena Ano Asana Manu Makala Dunkuma Asano Kuma Dusana asuma di kala okuma. Vivalu okuma asano kala. Dina dokoma asano uvala vala asano. Dina dokoma kakuma. Dasano okuma akala. Duma makuma bakala asano disala dokuma ala. Ina okono usala dusu esala alo avala ruma di sanu sakala gulu ulu rulu asan <laughs> and of course my voice is cracks <laughs> um okay hmm <laughs> and I fell out of the trance. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything. Oh, update, update. Um, the blue flame I saw from yesterday's video, it actually, a blue flame appealed in the book of the law. So I just wanted to update on that note to say, what if this flame represents that flame? I don't know. I don't know. Because mine, the one I saw was, it was going upward, like dancing upward, uh, curving upward, um, with sparkles. Um, but I realized I made a, an artwork that Featured blue smoke with sparkles. So it could have been from that artwork, 
except uh, the curvature of going upward, your wires moving upward, uh, uh, and, uh, different. So it's not exactly what I created and saw in my head. It, it's not like, it, it, it is similar, but it is not the same thing. It was a different blue flame. It wasn't smoke. Mine was on a black background as well, but this was actual fire, not smoke. Uh, so it could have been inspired from what I made. It could be the blue flame, uh, flame from what I read in chapter one of the Book of the Law. It could represent whatever blue aura means, whatever fire means, um, fire, I have no idea, <laughs> to be honest, I have not researched what, no, actually I did, but this was, how many years ago now? Six, seven, seven years ago, uh, give or take, when I read about the four elements and what they represent. All I remember is water is going with the flow, um, soothes, uh, it, uh, I know one of the elements is creative, except I cannot, no, wait, that might be how elements, uh, maybe. I know earth means, well, the common figure of speech is down to earth. You're well grounded, um, slow paced. Um, yeah, like I said, it, this research came from like seven years ago and I do not remember any of it. So I, I'm not, well, the fire means to me what it means to me, but what it means to you might differ. Excellent. Yeah, if you have an opinion on what the fire represents, or better yet, feedback is always rec <laughs> feedback is always appreciated. Feedback is always welcomed. Um, opinions are also welcomed and appreciated. That way we contribute to the whole. Again, I call it a library similar to Alexander, which I am probably pronouncing incorrectly. I, if it's uh, Alexandra, I, I forget. So again, uh, collective consciousness, uh, so yeah, opinions, yeah, contribute whatever you can. We all learn here, I mean, we are all on different levels going to the same path, uh, to the same goal, I should say. We walk it differently, but going towards the same thing. Like I said, I am still very new, and right now this is all organic. Uh, I did not write a script, and this is just going from my head. Which, well, at times, I feel like I do not, am not clear enough on what I say. Hard to read. Hard to understand. I am working on that. So... <laughs> Until we meet again, my friends. <laughs> my cat is Helen. Um,
Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Sorry, my cat is distracting me. And that was proof. <laughs> That's why my eyes were, like, not looking right here. Okay, the flexin... The flexin video done. Color in a point done. Now, what is this one going to be? My body wants to do light and language before I sleep. Hmm. I'm not sure why. Usually, I do not do this. Actually, I have never done this right before, but that is why my voice is lower and, well, in my head it is lower, um, and, but I do know my energy is lower because I am tired. It's actually easier to get into it, friends, because you're like... Okay, I watched this video explaining the first 30 minutes you wake up, you were coming out of a trance. First, 30 minutes or however long it takes you to wake up, you are coming out of a trance. The brain waves are slowly waking up. What happens before bed? When you get tired, your brain waves are lower in. You are falling into a trance without you realizing it. And yeah, it makes sense. I've actually, after I watched that video, every, that I am more aware, and it actually makes more sense. So, yeah. Okay, why am I doing this right before bed? Always breathe in love. Always breathe in positivity before you sleep and when you are waking up. After you wake up and before you get out of bed, breathe in love, breathe in positivity. Same thing before you go to sleep. You're laying in bed, trying to fall asleep, breathe in love, breathe in, breathe in positivity. You wake up, you lay in bed, breathe in love, breathe in positivity. And light language is both love, empowerment, divine, magical, Positive, it is not hate, it is not anger, peace, it is peace, um, always land on a positive note before you sleep. You will feel a hundred times better waking up than if you went to bed angry or hurt. How do I know that? Because I have actually been there, done that. Do not go to bed angry. Do not go to bed sad. Because you will wake up the same way. And you do not want that in the morning. And that is personal experience. Okay, so I am in a trance. Well, I have been, and I don't know why my eyes are closed. <laughs> I just now noticed that. Um, I guess it's because I am more in tune inwards uh, than outwards.
Okay, what am I seeing? A blue sparkling flame, like dancing upwards. Okay. Um, to me, blue means divinity. Uh, blue means spiritual. Blue means calm. Or is that green? I know green is linked to the heart, uh, to the heart chakra. Um, so blue, but these are my opinions of what blue means to me. Okay, I'm gonna check the time on the recording. Okay, we have time. I have a 15 minute time limit. Okay, blue, those, what that is, what blue means to me. As for the sparkling, it just means magical. I really have no other explanation to that. Upwards means ascension, rising out of the ashes like a phoenix. Also magical symbol, same as the dragon. Okay. Light language. Akolo kaka kano asala dunu esala kakona matavala akolo esala dina dokolo esala sonu sala sara sara vavalu. Vavala, Vavale, Oko, Oko, Aluko, Koku, 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 Kikina, Asuna, Iki, Uku, Maka, Maka, Eke, Eku, Uku, Dana, Okolo, Isi, Asa, Asala, Olo, Lu, La, Lu, Vala Asanu Dini Namakala Okonkono Akala Asanu Arizina Arizina Okuma Duma Ala Ala Selo Dimi Nukuno Kasana Isala Mave Mavu Mane Manu Duma Nukuno Kansana Okuma Okuma Vuma Nuku Kuku Kiki ki okulu Dana okulu asana
I am going to open my eyes now. Slowly. Because I are kind of... Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of what happens when you're in a trance sometimes. The light... Yeah, I... Yeah. Namaste. And... Just go in my spirit, and that is what it told me to do at the last part while there was this silence. I've never actually done that before this time this has happened. I feel calmer, I feel more at peace. I felt energy going up, like up. That's kind of what I was like trying to show with my hand, like on my chest when I was like trying to do this. And then it just went up, like, up the, the energy, and that's kind of why I, like, like, did this, and then my head, like, tells it back, and I could just feel this energy going up, um, and I just feel more at calm, more at peace, um, more centered, more grounded, and... Yeah, always leave on a peaceful note when you are going to bed. I thank you for your time, and I hope that this, along with all my other videos, can teach you something to remind you of something. Remember, actually, yes, do remember that all of the blogs I have written, if it is not a rant from anger, but even in my rants of anger, there is something to learn. But yeah, that's just my opinion, uh, I, because I have seen it. So basically, all my videos on YouTube, from the blogs I have read, may they remind you of whatever that may be. Because everything I have written, minus the rants are from my higher self, from 5D, which means co collective consciousness. We are all connected. We are all one. Uh, how can I give an example to that? Psychics, real psychics, um, empaths. Empaths are really good examples. Not so light workers, uh, crystals, uh, a uh, crystal like indigo people, rainbow child, uh, star scenes, um, those are just examples. We are all one, even the negative. But there must be a balance. Without the dark, there is... Correct, I... If there is no darkness, how can the light light something. You grow in the dark. You were planted like a seed. In the dark, we can see our light better than if it was already lit. Think about that for a minute. Until we meet again, my friends.
Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today's topic is light language while in a trance. This also helps you balance and ground yourself. Normally, well, sometimes I do this uh, hand position. It's not very often. Sometimes I just use one hand. But, yeah. Well, since I have since I have this, it is amethyst bracelet. Can't really see the color. It is amethyst. Some this actually helps it. I believe these gemstones and crystals have powers to them, like our ancestors believed. And mysticism powers, uh, oh wow, yeah, I, f I felt that, like, something was just released, like, there was this pressure right here, and it's just gone, because this actually helps, uh, balance as well, um, other stuff, protection, I'm trying to, uh, Lower my brain waves, but <laughs> since I keep talking, it doesn't really. I mean, oh, I know. Yeah, talking and open to eyes does not help. You need to be in a relaxed state to fall into a trance. and I'm going to put it yeah I can feel that I would recommend uh, looking at these gemstones you can wear bracelets, necklaces, a ring and get one and and see which one fits you and go get it one. I got this to balance and uh, protection and when I put it on I felt these negative energies around me just poof. So the, the, the protection from this bracelet I felt it when I put it on. So they do work. I don't really know other than um, much about crystals and gemstones other than you have to clean their energies and charge them. I know that was for crystals. I don't know if it's for the same for a gemstone where you have to charge them. I do not know. I need to actually re do research on that, but I just have not gotten around to it. Okay, now I'm going to put it on my crown because my crown needs, oh uh, yeah, my crown also needs it. Okay, this is actually a first while I, my voice keeps breaking, oh my god. This is... A first, but I put my bracelet on my head. It is helping. Good. So this is another trance guide with 
light languages. Um, I ac I actually think these are really good videos to make to create. Good. We are making good time. Once again, I see I have like golden wings, like angel wings. I actually, I have actually made a artwork with golden wings, but the wings I see are the like outstretched. Like you can see the the end feathers are outstretched. Um, you know, the, they are not folded. They are fully outstretched and as if it is ready to take off and fly. Golden is, um, I know it's from my Jetsy that I follow, that I believe in, so I know he is with me, a uh, golden color. As for why I see golden wings, um, usually I think of blue for myself, but right now it is gold. Okay. Okumu makala aso sunu desala okukuma vala asalo valisio mata mokuma dokala sukuma ala kuma dakuma su di da uma ku. A la du sa va u ma da kunu isa isa uka mata mata uka alu vuma doruma de sala okukana Whoa, whoa tingles I love it I love it Whoa that's just oh my god Tingle sensation. It's awesome. I'm gonna weld that bracelet now, um, as you can see. Uh, wow. That's, that's just awesome when that happens. Um, you know, I've been like, okay. Okay, let's try to do some more light language. Um, mm. Yeah, sinuses. Okay, so I, what I did was twist and do that. So now I, you have like this design, like an infinity. Yeah. 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 Okay, there. Infinity, and then just fold it and just put it on my head. Maybe that actually amplified it. I don't know. Oh my god, I still feel it. That's awesome. Duma doluku vala asu sanu de kala okuma vala vanuku matsana dudena dokuma asu disana sunu sama sa sunu makunu valakala akonu kunu bakala okay <laughs>
<laughs> and so it's just um uh, remembering what baka means in Japanese. <laughs> I can't focus anymore. Um <laughs> I'm going to cut the video here because I'm just laughing. I can't do any more like the language after the ciphers. I did a little bit more. Um but yeah. I thank you for your time until we meet again, my friends. <sighs> Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today's topic will be fallen into a trance with light language. Can't really see this one, but oh, let me. No, you, yeah, you can't. You can't make this out. But it is a dragonfly with amber gemstones in it. Going to see if that does anything along with my bracelet again. Putting it on my head. Actually, not yet. Okay, that actually helps. Wait, let me... Okay. I'm trying something new today. And finally put it on my head.
Breathe in. And exhale, the still, stagnant, negative energies. Do this until you feel completely relaxed. Do it as many times as you need. Breathe in the good. And breathe out the bad. This is, hmm, I will be showing another technique. I stick out my tongue into like this, well, hard to explain. Uh, I saw it on a, a video a while back, tried it, and it worked for me. So you like cup, you roll up your, you stick your tongue out, you roll it, you breathe in blue energy, you breathe out the negative, bad energy, whatever color comes to mind. So I breathe in blue and just exhale. I don't really use another color. That also helps you uh, clean your aura. I visualize blue, very bright, um, but that's just what I do. You may do whatever color you desire. I am fully relaxed. Okay, what time is it? Okay, good. And let us begin channeling the light language. Already my hands are going up up here. Kunu kakala susu sanu badu balu vala asu kala oku ndisa usu sunu da u ma bu la so sa du na ku ma u la usu Sa ulu Sanu kina kulu sa suma Vulu balasa uku akuma Dulu sa salo Sina sulu Duma sonu Disa Sulu Sanu Dala Oku Dala
Senu kala okuma duna daloku Bala asulu sasu dina Dunu de sala osulu kana kukuma Bala asulu sana Sonu sasunu makunu matala dini dukuma Balu asana sasana susuma sala akulu Bala asana vunu makala Sanu balu esala kuma di dala kuma Kanu bala osu isa so du di ma oku bala a sonu malu dila duma sonu kinu kunoku dasano dasano vala sanu Kuma Sanuka Duno Danaka <laughs> Where did that go? I'm gonna boil that now. Okay. Yeah. The energies are flowing through me again. This time it's a bit different. Very powerful. Not as powerful as yesterday, but still potent. Kind of just dizzy right now. Um, but that, that is just probably my sinuses speaking. Until we meet again, my friends. Namaste, my friends. Thank you for watching and reaching the end. If you are not subscribed, please do so to not miss out on new content. And hit that like button to show your support for the channel. Leave a comment down below. I love interacting with my friends. 